The short answer to the question of whether or not you can be hypnotised to get rid of anxiety is yes. But most of us prefer to know at least a little bit more about how things work. And anxiety is one of the byproducts of our modern lives. It creeps in everywhere from relatively mild worries, such as will you be slightly late for something, right the way up to full-blown anxiety and attacks and pretty much any point in between. It's probably best to start with just a quick explanation of what hypnosis is and what it does. And if the only time you've ever experienced it is via a stage show or um, TV program, you need to know that those aren't representative of regular hypnosis. You probably knew that anyway. Stage shows are designed for entertainment. People on the stage speaking in foreign tongues, clucking like a chicken, or doing all sorts of other odd things. They're on stage and they know it. They give themselves permission to be on the show and their subconscious is going to make the very best of it. That's why they've been chosen. Because it's got the excuse that they were hypnotised. And TV shows necessarily show a condensed version of a regular session. A typical face-to-face -face appointment will last around 30 to 60 minutes. A typical self-hypnosis MP3 will be pretty near the shorter end of that time. But on a TV show, the whole segment is likely to run screen for a few seconds to maybe... Ooh, I'd, a minute or so. Truth be told, we've all hypnotised ourselves anyway. Some people call it daydreaming. That's just regular and it's definitely close to being under hypnosis. And if you've ever been on a journey where you remember starting the journey and remember getting to the other end, but haven't really got much of a clue what happened in the middle, you've hypnotised yourself. And it's just that a session with a hypnotist will, will listen to a downloaded track is a bit more formal, not necessarily lots. Part of the process is to get you to relax. Something that's good to re reduce your anxiety anyway. Then the hypnotist will talk to your subconscious mind and help it to come up with better ways to deal with whatever's making you anxious in the first place. And the current methods it's using which are not good. Chances are you won't know exactly what's happening. Much the same as if I asked you how your fingers work, how your eyelashes grow, you'd have a job explaining the process. But you do know it happens. And that's exactly the same part of your mind that we're talking to with hypnosis to reduce your anxiety. The nice part is that pretty much exactly the same as you rarely consciously do anything to daydream or grow your fingernails or anything. You don't have to do much for hypnosis to work its magic on you. The easiest way is to play a hypnosis mp3. It's available on demand, press play, and it's cheap, especially considering it's been recorded by one of the world's experts. Then let your subconscious mind take over the whole process and handle all the necessary boring details once it's been given the prompts in the hypnosis session. I know hypnosis works, I've used it on myself, and I've hypnotised other people in all sorts of circumstances. Deep down, you at least think it could work for you. And the easiest way to prove that, basically, and reduce your anxiety into the bargain, is quite simply download the track linked below this video and listen to it.